Okay guys, I'm in Timothy's basement looking at doing a mini split. We'll start here at the panel. You can see there's plenty of room on the panel for us to put in a double pole 15 amp breaker. Um, it's an Eaton load center. And then we'll just take our electrical from there up to the ceiling. All of these, this wood, these are just um, little pieces of plywood that he put in between the, in between the, um, the joists there. But we'll run our electrical across the ceiling. We can probably just tick, stick to this side, run our electrical across the ceiling until we get over here near um, the, where the refrigerant lines are. And then we'll run down this way. So here's where you're going to, uh, you guys can make your decision on where you want to run that electrical. So we can do two things. We can come over to here and then go up into the garage and then run out through the garage and back into the house, or that's the exterior wall where our unit's gonna sit. So you could, if, if we can squeeze back there, you could run your electrical straight up through that. It may be easier to go up through the garage and out. So next I'll go take a look at the outdoor unit, where the outdoor unit is gonna go, and then I'll show you the inside. So out here, this is if we're gonna come into the garage, we'll come down through the wall here. You can see where this rainbird thingy is, um, but we'll be poking out somewhere around here and we'll run conduit across the, the bottom of the, the garage. And then we'll be poking out of the wall over here on this side to go out to the backyard. Now I'll walk out to the backyard and show you where my outdoor unit's gonna be with the line set. So the area that we're trying to cool is kind of over here in this area. We're gonna put our- I'm the unit right here. Yeah, the unit's gonna go right here. So we're gonna set the unit in where it's parallel to the house, perpendicular to the garage. Our electrical lines will kind of come out right down there where that electrical pops out in that corner. And then we're gonna take our line set up the wall and we'll punch into the side of the house and run our line set over to the, um, to the unit inside of the house. So now I'm inside the bedroom. So my outdoor unit is gonna be over here in that corner on the other side of the closet here. So my refrigerant lines are gonna go up into the attic and then come out my unit. So that fan is in the center of two joists. So that's spanning two joists, there's a hanger there. So we're gonna end up being one joist over so my unit should be centered on that fan right around in this area somewhere. I think it's better. 